Hello and welcome back to part 38 of the Pokemon Let's Go EV walkthrough. Alright, <clears throat> this is it. We beat all the Elite Four and now we have to take on Hal. Let's just kick his ass. Like it's a ain't no thing because he suck. <laughs> Alright. Look at him adding, acting all cool and shit, which he is totally not. He's being a pussy all along, like, he got scared in Pokemon Tower. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, that, that ball should have hit his head. I beat the Elite Four and became the champion. Yeah, because you slipped past me before Victory Road, and, and, and then you somehow got through the Elite Four just before me. From now on, the champion will be a part of Pokemon League and battle all kinds of trainers. I'm really get, glad my first opponent turn, turned out to be you. You're the one trainer I want to test my best against, after all. Well, after you lost like 10 times against me? Wait, are you serious? That's his theme? Oh, he doesn't deserve this theme, dude. He does not deserve this. That's... That's Green's theme. What the hell? N no, that's not Champion's theme. That's... That's Green's theme. Also, I picked Blastoise because I know he's gonna use PGR. So, let's just Mega Evolve and Ice Beam the shit out of it. And again, no animation, so... Just, just poop out the Mega Evolution without any like explode. Oh, right. Okay, yes. But who the fuck cares? Your your PG your PGI just got fatter. That's it. Oh, look at that. Oh, yo, you son of a. Mm. Oh, whatever, whatever. Are you serious? Are you serious now? Are you, are you fucking serious right now? Okay. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> See you later. PGR and now... Oh, right. That's, no, PGR... PGR's ability is the... Uh... Wait, what's the... Oh, is it Raichu, isn't it? Okay, uh, so let's just switch to Trio. Oh wait, it's not right here. What am I, what am I saying? I I need to stop mashing the A button. Oh, it's Vile Bloom. Uh, hmm. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna switch back to Charizard because because I didn't see who it was. Yeah, it, it's gonna use this right here at the end. So let's just leave that to Eevee at the very end. Okay, that's fine. Solar Beam. I'm four times to resist that, so... And he can just fucking die. Right now. And see you later. Okay, who's next? Stop mashing the A button. Uh, oh, it's already right you? Okay, fine, I guess. Let's go to EV then. Can he use the, uh, the super move? I doubt he can. Because that will be too hard for the kids, right? Um, I think, yeah, let's just do it. Well, we're, we're not going to, we're going to, we're not going to have a chance to see if he can use that, but I doubt he can. So, bye. See, he's not even loyal to his Pikachu. He's just evolved it to Raichu. Like, if you give it uh, Evolution Stone to EV, it doesn't want it. Okay, so back back to Marowak, so let's go back to Blast. Let's go to Venusaur. Yeah, so... It, EV doesn't like getting evolved, but so does Pikachu, In if you get the Pikachu version right. But he, it still evolves it. Because he is a dick. Well, I guess he can take on, uh, what's her name? 
Agantha with Melwack, I guess. But nah, not with this, not with this stupid team. Uh, uh Solar Beam. Kind of don't want to learn that. Uh, I guess Mega Drain is not very good. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, what am I saying? <laughs> if I'm playing solo, then it's actually better to just use uh It's better to just use the Mega Drain because you still need it takes two turns unless there's a sunny day. Which I can't do that with Mega Charles Y, so what's the even fucking point? Let's just revert that afterward afterwards. Because you get Mega Drain from uh Eureka. So I can just learn it back. I didn't even learn Hydro Pump with uh, Blastoise because it's just not that reliable. You see, I'm not even talking about the battle. <laughs> just, just, just give me the the champion. Just, just, just go away, Hal. This last Pokemon is a freaking slow, bro. And it's over. It's over. <laughs> oh yeah, get 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 just get out how. Just just get out of here. Uh, look, look look at his happy go lucky face. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm the strongest in Kanto, not in the world. What the hell is talking about? Yeah, 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 it, it's over because she doesn't deserve it. Look at this crybaby. So, you have done it at last. You have defeated the Pokemon League. My sync um, uh, mm. Sorry, I can't speak English. You've grown a great deal since you first caught Eevee and set out that Pokedex. Yes, Brianna, you really come to into your own as a fine young woman. Hmm. And how? You show great resolve, never losing heart as you saw your journey through the end. I just see, though, in the way that you do battle, that kind heart of yours might still causing you to hold yourself back when it comes to your Pokemon and facing Brianna. No. How can you tell? It's hardly a match of me much of weakness, but it may cost you a battle this time. Regardless, the two of you showed an uh, extraordinary battle. You understand that your victory was not just your own doing, don't you? It was a marvelous bond you shared with your Pokemon you brought here. Uh, hmm. I know they're really trying to enforce this quote unquote bond, but I don't feel like it. it well, I, I have my reasons, so let's just leave that for uh, the the ending credits. Because I have a list right here. I will be talking about that everything wrong about this game. But, and something good about this game, of course. Being owner here is one of the greatest joys a Pokemon trainer may achieve. Beyond you, you have battled hard to become a Pokemon League champion. Let us record this great achievement of you and your Pokemon of all to remember. Okay. I I don't know what those glowing effects are supposed to be, but okay. But yeah, we we have three starters and the strongest is somehow Duck Trio. <laughs> I guess because there's a lot of um, poison type, especially in, when Team Rocket, well, when we battle Team Rocket, this is a shit ton of them. Okay, that's it. So let's just first talk about the good things about this game. Uh, so the music is pretty good. I mean, it, it it's Pokemon. Come on, the the the, the music. It's it you. It can't get any worse, okay? It, it, it's good. Well, especially if you already have uh, the blueprint from Gen 1, so... 
<laughs> yeah, well, you know what I mean. Uh, the second good thing is the graphics. So, I mean, it's a Nintendo Switch. So, uh, well, with what it can do, the graphics being good is... Well, you, you should have expected that. Otherwise, if it's still at a quality of a Wii U, then no. Well, you can't do that. So, and that's all the good things. So now we'll go on with the bullshit. So let's start with the story, shall we? Um, so let's talk about Eevee and Pikachu. The the whole fiasco about... Oh, I, I forgot about the Jesse and James. Uh, whatever. Uh, the whole fiasco about Eevee, the relationship between you and your first Pokemon is... It's terrible, to, in my opinion. So, for you, the first time you met your Eevee or Pikachu, you already become the first, the best friend, like, day one. Like, what? In Gen 1, when you first get your Pikachu, it, when you first start, the Pikachu doesn't, doesn't care about you. When you talk to your Pikachu, it, it's just show, your Pikachu is just angry towards you. He doesn't like you at all. So you have to work your way throughout the journey to build up your friendship with Pikachu. But in this game, it's just happy. Woo, we're best friend at day one, woohoo! Like, no, you, you can't do that, dude. <laughs> I, this, I know this game is for kids, but kids can handle, kids can handle that thing, you know? They, they know how to make friends, right? <laughs> That's not how friends works. Okay, so... The next thing, well, the store is not big to begin with, so there's only two things I have to talk about. Well, three things, I guess. The Eevee, the um, Rival, and also Team Rocket. Uh, so the Rival, can we stop having, like, friends as rivals? You know, there, there's a reason why in um, Pokemon Adventure, the manga, the, the, um, the, the rivals are so interesting because they all have the really unique backstory. So for Silver, he's kidnapped by a priest uh, when he was young and now he has to avenge on him and something like that. And it all goes down in Gen 4. Uh, so it, like they, they start having friends and then you have X and Y that you have four fucking friends. <laughs> it's just why? There's way too many friends. I don't... <laughs> I, I know, you, you know, in, in Pokemon Adventure, right? Uh, uh, Gold initially doesn't like Silver, you know, because he stole Turtle Total Dial and he wants to take it back from him. Um, oh, are we are we gonna end this already? Oh, all right, we have a cutscene here. What is it doing? Oh, this is cute, right? I mean, it, it, you, you know, if if you actually work your way to build up the rela relationship with EV, this is this could be cute, right? <laughs> uh, you know, this could be a heartwarming moment, but you know, I can't feel the 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 you know the bond. Oh, wow. Okay, I, I haven't rent enough. There, there's so much more to rent. Um. I guess I'll just fade out here and then keep complaining. So, you know, uh, we're, with rivals, right? Well, we're talking about rivals. Uh, you know, uh, Gold initially doesn't like Silver, but after uh, like a few battles, he's he knows what his uh, Gold knows what Silver's motive is, and he start, you know, uh, well, not liking him, but understand why he is doing this, and and then they become friends afterwards you know you, you don't have you don't need to have a rival that is like your childhood fan your childhood friend like at the very beginning you know you, you can build up this you know, kind of relationship right okay that, I think that's all I can uh, I have to say with the rival it's just we, we don't need more friends rivals okay we, we need some rivals with unique stories uh, Team Rocket, I don't, I don't really have much to say. It's just the Jesse and James fiasco. They, they're not very well integrated into the story. They, 
they had put them in there just for the sake of, um, you know, make it similar to Gen 1 or like uh, make kids recognize, oh, this is Jesse and James from the anime, like that sort of thing. Uh, you know, they, they don't even, they, they are, how should I say that? It's, they don't have a big purpose in the story. Uh, they just get in your way for some uh, arbitrary reasons. But uh, yeah, that that's all for the uh, Team Rockets. And now for the UI. I have been talking about this for throughout the playthrough. The UI is super fucking slow. Uh, there's also like a lot of delays in the battle for some reason. I think that is more apparent in uh, two-player mode because for some odd reason, after you choose two moves, uh, after you choose both of your moves, there sometimes there could be a three whole second of delay of just panning around the Pokemon without doing the attack animation immediately. So that just ah, it just adds up, dude. Uh, there's also a lot of oversights on the UI. Um, I have talked about this before. So selecting moves, you have four moves, right? You can you can you know keep scrolling it infinitely. But when you catch Pokemon, you know, those four options doesn't loop. So you can't just press up and then run immediately. You have to press down three times uh, to get out. Uh, I, I think this is worse because uh, the, the way they, they handle control in this game is you either use the Joy-Con or, the, uh, or uh, the Poké Plus or the handheld mode. It all, it's better in handheld mode because you have more buttons work, to work with but in Joy-Con mode or the Pokemon Plus there's there's not much you can do you, you have to you know physically shake the Joy... Uh, not well not shake the Joy-Con you, you know you have to press down on the joystick th three or four times to just navigate a menu and it's so annoying without the D-pad it's just something is missing so you know handheld mode can be better on that but still it's it oh they they couldn't just cram like four more buttons onto Pokemon Plus Pokemon Plus a uh, po Pokeball Plus thing uh, I don't I uh, I don't know uh, some low times are pretty bad especially in Frisha City uh, yeah it, the when you go in and out of a house it takes like four seconds to load the map like why <laughs> it's a Nintendo Switch why does it take four seconds to load a uh, a small town map I mm, why. Um, and next, we talk about the catching. Uh, the, the, the throwing mechanics, like I said, is extremely inconsistent. Like, you, you just, you can never tell where your ball is gonna go. Like, initially, your Pokemon is just gonna stand still and it works just fine, I guess. But as soon as the Pokemon starts moving, it's impossible to hit the excellent throw. Like, because you can't see where your ball is going to be. And there's no, like, trajectory, you can't see... Well, you know what I mean, you just can't see where it's going to go. Uh, it is better in handheld mode, because like I said, uh, handheld mode is uses gyro, and whenever you aim, uh, the ball will go... When you press A, the ball will go to the center of the screen. So you can sort of, you know, predict where the Pokemon is going to strafe, and then you can throw the ball over there so that works okay I guess but you know the main gimmick of this game is to you know you feel like you're holding a pokeball and you throw it towards something right but I feel like they could have done this a lot better than what they have right now because some I cannot tell how many times when I try to just throw, throw straight the ball will just go to the far side for no goddamn reason. It's just, it's just annoying, really annoying. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's the catching uh, aspect of the game. For trainers, oh my fucking god, the trainers, the the repetitiveness is so bad. Like, the I think the worst defender is probably the one trainer that has six magic cards. But I know, I know, in Gen One they do have this. Like this guy with six magic cup as well, but in that game, 
the UI is much faster, the battle animation is much faster, so you, you can just mash, mash the A button and it could be done in like a few minutes. But in this game, you have to sit through all that. I mean, you can turn off the battle animations, but the UI is still really fucking slow. So it takes at least like one minute for each Pokemon. So that's six or seven minutes to battle six magic cards. And the second worst defender is probably the uh, Pokemon Tower. Like, every single fucking trainer uses Haunter and Ghastly. So, like, you... I know, I, I know there's not much, not many ghost type Pokemons, but there's a lot, a lot other examples where this guy has three Rattatas, this guy has three Bellsprouts, this guy has uh, three Weezings, uh, uh, coughing. And why couldn't you just put more variety in that in, in, in that roster, you know, I know you only have 151 Pokemon, but again, it's 151 Pokemon. You can you can just shuffle through them between the trainers, and it will make all the battles better without just having them. Okay, this guy has three this, three this, three this, three this, four this, six this, and some shit like that. It's boring. It's ah, you know, it it it's. It's all linked together, right? So the slow UI, the repetitiveness of the, the, the battle, the Pokemon you're going to battle, it's just... Ah! Just shovel them. Don't, don't make them the same Pokemon. It doesn't get any better by battling the same Pokemon. You, yeah, you gain more XP, but you know what I mean. Enough of this. Uh, enough of this. So, Mega Evolution. Well, I think I sort of talked about this already. You have missing sound effects, you have no keystone animations, so much, so many missed opportunities that you can have make the game better with Mega Evolution in general. I mean, they, they sort of just kind of throw that in in Sun and Moon as well, but this game is a lot more apparent because it's... They kind of serve no purpose in this game, if you think about it, because, you know, X and Y introduces uh, Aras is just the uh, same generation and Sun and Moon it, it, it goes down with Sun and Moon because they don't really get an introduction in there and this game is just throw it to you <laughs> like, okay here's your mega it's all your starters mega stone here you have it you don't have you don't even have to go out and find them so yeah that's the mega evolution so overall I think this game is too easy. I mean, they, they sort of balance it with the levels. Uh, what I mean is the the EXP gaining of this game is just it's too easy. So it, it all starts with uh, Pokemon X and Y because they introduced the EXP share. But in that game, you can if you want to make it more of a challenge, you can just turn the EXP share off and. Yeah, you can do that, but I guess no one does that because they kind of balance the game out so that they kind of expect you to use the XP share. So the, the trainer levels are kind of a bit higher in that game. So in this game, when you catch a Pokemon, it shares all the XP to the whole team without any like multiplier. Um, I mean, in, in normal trainer battles, you will get a multiplier on your team, but Still, you you're not giving a you're not given a exp share. It's just half that multiplier to your other team in at the very beginning. So you know they they actually didn't do the balance very well in this game because you know how fast how fast I gain exp when I start catching Pokemon because by the end of the victory row, I I know I did some grind, but by the, by the time I reached there, my Pokemon's are already level 66, and the Elite Four is just 50 something. You know, back in when I played Gen One, uh, I think the Elite Four is like level 49 to 50 something. Yeah, because Lance has a level 50 Dragonite, so I think my Pokemon is around just there, the level. It's not like very OP, and I still have to do some kind of grinding. Um, in order to you know reach those reach those levels, but in this game it's just so fast, so easy, 
Especially if those, you know, catching Pokemon is a lot easier. Well, not catching Pokemon is a lot easier. You know, the gaining EXP from catching Pokemon is so easy. Um, but yeah, it, there are also a lot of missed opportunity, like the, the cameos. Uh, you know, uh, well, I, I mean, we haven't battled a red or a blue yet, but I won't spoil it yet, I guess. <laughs> but you you guys probably already watch all those battles. But uh, the Mina, for example, uh, Captain Mina from the Alola region. Why couldn't why couldn't you make her use uh, some Alolan Pokemon? Like why not? I know I know you you this game is about Gen One, but you know you could put some secret Pokemon that shows she is from the Alolan region, right? Uh, it, or whatever, but. Uh, I just really hope they did a better job in Gen 8. Uh, I'm not sure if they want to keep the throwing mechanics in that game. Well, for catching Pokemon, I certainly think they're gonna keep. They're gonna go back to the uh, no, uh, the regular gameplay where you have to you know weaken the Pokemon. But you know after that, maybe they will integrate the Pokemon Go thing. Uh, you know, throw the Pokeball to the to the Pokeball, the Pokemon. But you know, over this game is just a money grabber for the Pokemon Go players. <laughs> like initially, I didn't plan to get this game, but you know, I got a job, so I have money, so I might as well try out this game. Like it wasn't that bad in the beginning, but after like the playthrough, I just see, oh my god, this game is so damn boring, <laughs> and it's so obnoxious with like all the UI and. Stuff like that problem. Oh my fucking god! I really hope they also fix the UI problem in Gen 8. That's a huge problem. Otherwise, I'm gonna just turn off all the battle animations to just make my journey slightly better. But yeah, that's all my thoughts on this game. I think uh, if I miss anything, we'll probably in I will probably talk briefly about that in the upcoming four parts because we still have four things to do. We still have the Mewtwo battle. We still have the red, green, blue battles. So that's the last four parts. Like, I'm not even gonna bother with the rematch with the gym leaders and the Elite Four because from what I see, saw on online, the Elite Four and the champion is literally just, uh, it's literally just the same roster, but 10 levels higher. So it's the exact same thing. That even even with ten levels higher, my my Pokemon is already out leveled them. My Pokemon are all level seventy and above, so it, plus ten doesn't even reach there. So, yeah, okay, that's all I have to say. So, um, I will see you guys on the next part where we catch Mewtwo. Oh boy, I I, I can't wait for the frustration to come back. I think, uh, well, Mewtwo does not fly, so I think it's slightly better. But we'll see what happens, so I'll see you guys on the next part. Peace!